Now we're going to look at uh, two of the specialist type of connective tissue fibres which are found in particular abundance in specific uh, tissues. And these two are elastic fibres and reticular fibres. So let's begin with elastic fibres. Uh, they're found in particular concentrations in very large um, arterial blood vessels called elastic uh, arteries. And the largest of these is the largest artery in the body, the aorta. Elastic fibres aren't normally easily seen in routine hematoxylin and eosin uh, preparations. So normally um, the elastic fibres are made visible using uh, special stains. And if we were to look at uh, the information on this slide, it uses a specific elastic uh, fibre stain. So this slide you reach by using the search term aorta, A-O-R-T-A, -A, and then pick slide 4 from the uh, slides uh, which result. And here is the aorta slide. Uh, the aorta, this has been cut in uh, cross-section and most of the cross-section is uh, missing. So just a sliver, an arc of the cross-section here. This is the uh, luminal surface, so the surface uh, along which blood would contact and outside here is the external surface of the aorta. The elastic um, fibres and elastic tissue we'll find will be concentrated between the luminal surface and here so in the dark staining region. Let's increase the magnification now and take a look at what we can see. I've gone up in magnification to quite a great extent. And what I want to point out is that the dark wavy staining material which you can see here is made up of elastic fibres that have been packed together into sheets uh, called elastic lamellae. Lamellus is the Latin for lamella is the Latin for uh, sheet. And these sheets of elastic material are interspersed between uh, cells, muscle cells. Now we can't. We'll come back and study these in a future slide. We can't really see the muscle cells just now because of this uh, special stain. So these are elastic lamellae, and elastic lamellae are really only found in large elastic blood vessels. The more common form in which elastic uh, connective tissue is found is as elastic fibres. And we're going to look for elastic fibres not in the mid portion of the uh, aorta here, but here out on the closer to the outer edge. And here we should see, as we do in this uh, image here, we can compare uh, elastic lamellae, sheets of elastic material as you see here, with elastic uh, fibres, of which there are far fewer in the outer part of the aorta, and there are these long, sometimes branched structures, which we see here, cut in cross-section, they just look like uh, small dots. And again, we'll increase the magnification a little bit. And so here, what we can see in the background, the wavy stained uh, material, these are collagen fibres that form part of the outer part of the wall of the aorta. And here, the dark staining, uh, very straight, sometimes branched looking fibres, these are elastic fibres. And the combination of collagen fibres and elastic fibres gives both strength and elasticity, respectively, to the wall of the aorta. The second type of uh, specialised connective tissue fibre that I'd like to look at uh, with you now are called reticular fibres. And to see these, again, much like elastic fibres, these require special stains. You can't actually uh, see them in routine hematoxylin and eosin uh, stained preparations. Reticular fibres are made from a type of collagen called collagen type 3. And as you'll have noticed in the notes, reticular fibres are very often intimately associated with the fibroblasts or reticular cells, as they're sometimes called, which secreted them. Uh, I've chosen to show you reticular fibres uh, in a slide or on a tissue which you've seen before in the context of epithelium, and that's on the kidney slide. To see this slide, use the NYU VM titled Kidney, K-I-D-N-E-Y, in the uh, search box, and then choose the fourth slide, slide number four from the resultant. And here's the uh, slide here. It doesn't look blue and pink because it's been stained with a specialised uh, stain which allows you to see reticular fibres. If we uh, zoom in here, Again, it looks as if this is a black and white uh, image. It's not, of course, a black and white image. It's just that the stain stains reticular fibres a very dark colour. You can look for reticular fibres anywhere you like uh, within this section. So I'm just going to increase in uh, magnification a little. And I'm going to find a region where I can see uh, 
tubular portion. Here we've got tubes cut in longitudinal sections, so this might be a good place to see reticular fibers. Reticular fibers are characteristic in organs that um, have small diameter uh, hollow tubes as part of their structure because the reticular fibers form a scaffolding or a meshwork or a supporting framework on which epithelial cells and other cells uh, uh, can uh, attach themselves. And so here we're looking along the uh, uh, side of a tube and here you can see these black uh, structures we see here these are reticular fibers and you can see that they both parallel the long axis of the tube and then as we can see in varying places they also run at right angles around the periphery of the tube or form networks on the tube and together these form a very um, dense meshwork or scaffolding which supports the uh, tubular organization in this case of the kidney. It can also be interesting sometimes simply to look at other parts of uh, tissue to see how they appear um, when they're stained with different stains. So for this purposes we're not looking specifically here for uh, reticular fibers, uh, we're just looking to see uh, how other structures uh, may appear. And one thing you might notice about these tubular uh, structures you see here is there's fairly intense staining around where the basement membrane would be. So this stain which highlights reticular fibers also tends to highlight the basement membrane and indeed it highlights some features of the apical uh, membrane membrane of the cells that form this tube here. This is a tube that's been cut in cross-section. And I would urge you to examine this particular slide uh, for the presence of reticular fibers, but also examine it and compare it with the appearance of the other kidney slide which you've looked at uh, for the purposes of assessing a kidney epithelium.